Dearest Rue and Mr. Stewart, I haven't told you enough that you're not only the best friends I've ever had, you're my family. I'm so sorry for all the trouble that I've caused. And for that, I think it's best that I move on. So this is goodbye from me. I'll treasure our time together always. Marilyn. We are Science Sophie. This is Coastal News, a home and away podcast. Your weekly episode companion podcast for your favourite Aussie soap. Season three, Sophie, 2023. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I've missed you. (laughs) I've missed you more. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, happy new year. Happy New Year. Happy Happy Homers is back. I'm so happy. Back into the routine. I was feeling very lost (laughs) for the last couple of weeks. So, yeah, glad to be back. Back to normal. Yeah, a long, long winter break, wasn't it? Um, It Especially being left where we were. But we're Mm. back. Yeah. Back and we are back on Coastal Views. (laughs) Nuts. Our third season. I've been so excited to get back on here. I know. That sounds (laughs) sounds sad yeah no if it is I'm just as sad because I've been excited as well so yeah although we have we we were a little bit spoiled over Christmas with the the classic eps that were on my five but I I struggled to keep up with them after not being in a routine properly over Christmas so did you yeah you watched them all didn't you I think I watched them all yeah um and I know many did you know there's lots of people chatting about them on Twitter and things weren't there Um, and online how did you find them I thought that was a gorgeous treat you know I thought I'm really glad yeah I I, the first lot I watched sort of every one up until the sort of bus crash episodes there was part one part two wasn't there's actually two episodes for that one and then after Mm -hmm. that it got a bit too recent you know like so there, there were too many weddings I'm not I'm not a huge fan of weddings I'll be honest and some of those early soap weddings weren't as exciting as you know yeah the kind yeah. of the newer the newer ones anyway so I didn't watch a lot of the weddings and I didn't watch a lot of the Braxton stuff because I was like I kind of remember this and it doesn't feel that long ago so yeah it didn't feel I, I didn't feel too classic to, at no. one point did it um no I mean they had to yeah. because the whole point of it was they were going to show an episode for every year weren't they so eventually it was going to have to come up to sort of nearer to now um mm. but it was it was the older ones I was more interested in like the first sort of 10 episodes or so really yeah you see it's quite interesting because I was the opposite so oh, I, th- I think I said, yeah, I think I said this, didn't I? So that unpopular opinion, I prefer later home and away. Like, um, and my, so it's the nostalgia you watch it for, right? Yeah, so yeah. I, I, I didn't really get that till we hit like 96, 97. I'm like, yeah, gosh, this is like what some of my early memories now, you know, yeah. of watching the show. Before that, I felt like, like you say, loads of weddings where now happens. Um <laughs> I mean, they were was, lovely, but it, yeah. you know, a wedding now is full of drama, isn't it? Like there's an explosion or like someone's been mm. kidnapped or someone's been shot or like there's always something awful. But back then yeah. it was more like, oh, the groom got lost on the way to the, the church. You know what I mean? And that's about yeah. as dramatic as it yeah. got. So. Yeah. I mean, soaps were like that, though, weren't they? Yeah. You know, a bit definitely. more kitchen sink. And I, th- yeah. I just think, you know, I don't want to say the word boring, but like, I just prefer loads of stuff happening. So for yeah. me, when when we got into the late nineties, into the noughties, you know, and they, these were the years I was in. I was a teenager. I was like, you know, well into it. So I wanted yeah. to relive these moments again. Oh. Some of the episode choices were a bit, mm, you know, I was a yeah. bit like, you know, it, 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 Sally getting shot, but she gets <laughs> shot in the last three seconds of the episode. <laughs> So you're like, right, okay. Yeah, it was um, the shot, not the aftermath that we saw. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Mm. And I'm thinking there was 36, 35 episodes, because it was the 35th anniversary. Happy yeah. anniversary, home and away. Um, so we had an episode from each year, didn't we? So, I yeah. mean, how do you pick an episode from each year? I mean, yeah. Yeah. you're not going to get everything, are you? There's a, whatever episode you pick, we're always going to want to see what happens next. That's the whole, that's the yeah. formula of soap. It ends yeah. on a cliffhanger, you know. Exactly, yeah. Um, 
So we, they were never going to please us, but I just felt like the whole thing was a love. It's been a long time since we've had old repeats like that. Um, yeah, definitely. And I didn't even find, because I found the Braxtons a bit overgoing when, it, mm. when they were on. But we only had a couple of eps of them, yeah. you know, and then we were, we were past them. They were the wrong eps, in my opinion. I thought Casey's death ep was, the, was, was yeah, that was a great episode. And I had, yeah. me, had me going again, floods of tears. Yeah. Um, but then there was other. Do you remember that episode where um, Brax is um, gets ambushed on the way to prison? Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> yes. I was. I wanted that one. <laughs> in the car. The car yes. Yeah, the car goes in the lake, and then Brax yes. doesn't surface. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, there's things like there was no Heath. He's the best one. He's or Keith, cool. as we call him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we call him Keith. I don't. I don't know why. It, it just stuck over the years. <laughs> no, it really, it's not as sexy, is it, Keith? <laughs> no, I think that's why. Oh, but oh, he's um, very. He's a very pretty man. I have to admit. I but yeah. We saw him. I don't even think we saw him. So Do you know, there were mm. no. So there were some strange episodes, but I still lapped it up. I watched them all, and I even wrote a blog, our first blog. You about... did. Amazing <laughs> blog. I loved it. I, I had, that was like a little trip down memory lane for me as well. <laughs> so, was it? <laughs> yeah, it was great. You are kind. I'm no writer, but if you want to go read it, you listeners, are. Um, click... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, click on the link um, to our website, our pod page. Hello. Like... Mm. Season three is going nuts here on Coastal <laughs> News. Um, we've got a page, so um, the pod page link is in the episode description of this podcast, and that'll take you through, and you'll see the blog on there. Um, have a read. Let us know what you think. Um, it's just it's just a quick sort of summary of the episodes and what I thought about revisiting these years in Home and Away, and how nostalgic and fuzzy and warm that I felt. So go and have a read. Let us know what you think. Awesome. I think I just loved all the, the you know, the older episodes, the hairstyles, mm. all, all the perms and the 80s clothes. And yeah. just, that for me was just like, yeah, I needed to see that. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. I did. It really showed its age, didn't it, right it did. at the beginning when it started. The, the, the pilot. title sequences with the yeah. fish. I got so excited about the <gasps> fish. <laughs> the fish. The fish. Best, best opening titles ever. And the, yeah. the seagull from the first yeah from the first title mm. sequences the mm. seagull <laughs> they're worth a watch just for the title sequence they actually. are and just seeing mm. like because not everybody that was shown because you know at the beginning they show everybody's face don't they like in the titles but not everybody that's shown is in the episode as well so you're kind of seeing people and going oh i hope they're in it and then they're not in it and you're like oh that's a shame <laughs> yeah oh, yeah gosh. that block storytelling that block storytelling i know but it was right, nice well, to see old faces <laughs> it was it was very nice and um before we get on to modern day now because we're mm. back with a bang yes. i would say um or a, or a crash <laughs> bang <wallop. laughs> um there's just a couple of a couple of housekeeping bits to run through um regulars there's no some of this but yeah we have a website as i've just mentioned so check that out podpage.com slash coastal news pod link in the episode description subscribers can still subscribe link in the episode description below 99p gets you access to bonus content early access to episode releases before anybody else um, and help support the show as well so uh, we really appreciate our regular subscribers if you want to join in go ahead and you'll get extra content and early access to the content as well and um like i said regular listeners will also know about our first look segment um that was so popular in our previous season um and we used to have a right good giggle doing it didn't we <laughs> yeah um we're still doing it it's still here isn't it it's no yep. longer it's going to be its own episode so you're going to get two episodes of coastal news podcast a week two a week one on saturday one on sunday every week um and one of them will be your first look and those who don't like spoilers can choose can choose not to hear it as well so yeah. Um, giving you all the choice this season, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Right. For the very first time, do you want your headlines? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Excited. It feels like we've not done this for like 10 years. I know, I've missed it. Heather's plans fall apart 
resulting in Marilyn wanting to leave the bay. Lyric, want to be with someone like you. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> Eden runs Jacob up the wrong way, leading to a warning from Bree. And the wedding's off and on, but slow, <laughs> but also in exactly eight weeks' time. <laughs> Please take the time to like, subscribe and review Coastal News wherever you source your podcasts and ensure you never miss an episode. So we rejoined the Bay 2023 here in the UK at Heather's House of Horrors. And if you remember, Sophie, um, there was this massive sort of forced revelation. Mm. All all the oldies, <laughs> they're all tied up. <laughs> Alf's Crooker's Rookwood is the name, if you remember. Oh, His heart no. is... He's he's, 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 he's dodgy tickers going. Oh. And, um, and, and, and Marilyn was forced with this confession, this, you know, that Tell she was them. so ashamed of. Yeah. Tell them. Tell them or your poor Mr. Stewart will perish. <laughs> God, I don't understand this. I'm just like, I know, oh. I know. Um, so she's to- so it's all out, isn't it? And we we joined the group with a bit of the reaction that I, m- I remember on the season finale last year. Me and you were saying we need a bit of this reaction. We need to know what Rue's going to do, what yeah. she's going to say. You Ooh, know, what's Irene yeah. going to do? You know yeah. that kind of thing. Um, and um, you know, <laughs> I <laughs> the things Irene says actually had me wet in my sides. <laughs> Perfect that... light relief during all this drama, you know. This has gone beyond a joke. <laughs> yeah. Come that. on now, this has gone beyond a joke. You're like, uh, you don't say. <laughs> She's just been terrorising for weeks. Um, and, um, you know, Rue says things like, you've won. You know, we won't look at her the same now. You've got yeah. everything you wanted. Got oh, everything I don't know. you wanted. Oh, we God. We won't look at her the same. I didn't know how to take that. I don't know about you, because I was thinking, oh, is she saying it? just to make just to comply is it mm. just to get out yeah but thought, mm, the, but Marilyn was sort of looking and thinking because that was her, Marilyn's fear yeah exactly so was, she played into it didn't she definitely that made me oh. feel really uncomfortable it's, it kind of broke my heart the way that she delivered it I think because it I didn't know whether she was it, you know when they say like when you jest it's partly true isn't it like you kind of you make a joke or you take the mickey mm. out of someone as a joke but there's always an element of like something in it that's that's actually true mm. and it felt a little bit like that like she was saying it to sort of try and convince Heather that she'd got what she wanted and it was time to call the ambulance and the whole thing you know you've accomplished yeah. what you came here for we we don't like Marilyn anymore you're right she's a horrible person but it it didn't sound like she was pretending it sounded like there's a little bit that believed it I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much yeah. into it. No, I I did because I, I remember actually going. I, I made an audible noise. I remember going, oh, yeah. you know, like you know, and like clenching, you know, clenching. Yeah. Like, oh no, yeah. that was just a bit. That was just a bit off. It was you know, too and I just, much. It was too much of like, no, we don't like her anymore. We, we've seen what she's really like. You're absolutely right. She's awful. It was it was a lot, wasn't it? Really. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm looking. I'm 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 I'm, I'm I'm begging the camera to go on to go to go on Marilyn because I'm like, yeah. you know, I just just see the horror in her face, like because that that was her fear, you know. Yeah. I just thought that was an awful yeah. thing to say. It's not something, not words I would have chosen, you know, oh, in that moment. It's so blunt. And obviously, we're all like, you know, die Rue, <laughs> you know, with the way she's <laughs> been like, Rue, how dare you? So so that's like, I can't believe you've said that, you know, uh-huh. after all this. It's such a bad friend, you know. So I it just it just sort of brought me back to those feelings I've had about Rue through this whole storyline. Mm-hmm. And then what Heather it, actually it's Marilyn in the end that sort of talks around to going off somewhere. Leah's not too, you know, don't do that, Maz, you know. And yeah. um and then Heather ends up taking Maz up to the roof, running like <laughs> <laughs> in a <her> little dragon. <laughs> I, I know, but I'm she thinking. Did that. All those well, stairs. she was. I mean, she was just running alongside her. I thought <laughs> she doesn't look like she's being forced anyway. She's just trying along. <laughs> I know. I, I couldn't she's good in them that. heels, though. I couldn't have run in heels and up all them craggy, like craggy stairs. No way. I'd have been on my face. <laughs> well, you know, Marilyn's a profesh. 
She's she just is. the beach in the heels. I she know. knows what she's doing in a pair of those, you know. Oh, she is. She's a pro. <laughs> I need some lessons. Well, whilst all this is going on, Justin back in town, mm. he's getting a bit sus. He's not heard from anybody. No one's turned up to work. So he's gone down to the cop <laughs> shop, yeah. YCPD. And, you know, he's got the big secret. You know, you need to know something. Yeah. Um, you know, Heather is Marilyn's daughter. It's all coming out. And um, two and two quickly becomes four, <laughs> mm. you know. Very quickly. Did you know, did you know, I couldn't believe this, actually. I was a bit shocked at how quickly they got there. Like, Yabby Creek Police Department, not always the brightest, you know, are they? Let's be honest. <laughs> no. This has been going on for a long time and they haven't really clocked on it at all. But Justin said something like, they said, oh, where's the place they've gone to for this lunch? And he said, it's something lake, something view. And then I think Rose went, crest view? ladies school and he was like yeah that's it well you see she'd been studying the file you see I know but even so it was still you know a bit too quick to be believable but there we go Mm. go with it Mm. well Jenny Aniston it (laughs) (laughs) episode one Jenny Aniston's out yeah You have to sometimes, don't you? But I was just so stressed out watching the episode. I was happy to go along with it, to be honest. (laughs) And John's also finding out this big secret from (gasps) Neek. And we know John's been right on it from the beginning, hasn't he? You know, he's not, you know, him and Heather haven't, you know, he's been really. And John, for me, has been the the heroic one throughout this whole thing. He's the only one, to a lesser extent, Marilyn, these are, you know, via John, but uh, yeah. not Marilyn, Irene, obviously. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but John's been the one, that's, oh, the advocate for Marilyn, this isn't right. You know, there's yeah. something wrong with you and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. And he was having run-ins with her. And I just thought, and then he finds out who she really is. Yeah. You know, the look, that look, he didn't even say anything, did he? The look on John's face and I just no. melted, oh. you know. Yeah. And now I'm just like, John, John loves Marilyn still. He does, definitely. And, the, the, you know, when, when she was going, gone missing and he was like, he didn't want to get involved, but he did want to get involved. He was like caught, wasn't he, between wanting to be there for her and then also like, oh, I'm the ex. I, you know, I shouldn't be overstepping the mark. And then mm. he's really trapped, isn't he, in these fields? Yeah. And then, um, unlike Nick, who just makes it all about him, <laughs> you know. I know, he had a bit of a paddy, didn't he? Like, how come yeah. I didn't see it? really frustrated me how come I didn't see it how come she lied to me yeah. you know I gave her the false alibi blah 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 and then there's no consequence when he admits that to the no. to, to cash <laughs> it's like, just yeah, like just go, home. go home Nico oh can you at least cough him up and just shut him up, shut him <laughs> up for a minute <laughs> just shake him up and scare him for a minute yeah <laughs> can you put him in the cell officer just for a bit <laughs> <laughs> with Dean <laughs> oh dear well, back on the roof of House of Horrors, oh. um, aka Crestview, um, you know, Heather, um, Cash has chased Heather and Marilyn up there. They're on the ledge. She's threatening. She, I, I couldn't get this. You know, he was trying to talk her down. She was like, no, this is a daft. And then she tries to make it to some weird, small, open window. Yeah, I, I, didn't, get, I didn't understand I didn't what she was trying, that. where she was trying to go. No, I didn't get that either because it didn't look like the the ledge they were on went all the way over to that window. So I didn't understand how she thought she would get to the window. And what happens when she did? Like Cash would just run around and catch them, surely. Didn't well, get well that. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. Uh, and, and the window didn't look reachable. Like. No, it didn't. It didn't look like you could get there from the ledge. And it and I thought even if you did get there and climbed in the window, all you're doing is going back in where Cash is and he can easily run to you. He hasn't <laughs> got to climb onto a ledge to get there. So... I didn't really get that at all, but she obviously wasn't yeah. thinking really, was she? No, she wasn't. And obviously then the the dodgy construction out in Australia, I mean, <laughs> yeah. someone get a building regs over because <laughs> the ledge crumbles away. and it crum- crumbled like sand. It did. <laughs> and off she went, tumbling yeah. to the ground. And um, I think I called her on Twitter the other week, the bionic woman, because there was no way. <laughs> She's got rubber bones. She <laughs> rubber. She, she just bounced. <laughs> no, she did just bounce. No way she was surviving that, the way she fell as well and landed, like, I without know. at least something. She um, but... wasn't even, like, cuts and scrapes or bruised or anything. She, when she was in that hospital bed, she looked perfect. <laughs> she did. Oh, yeah. Well, all done up. 
still still at it you know give her the evil eye yeah yeah <laughs> um and you know telling marilyn she's a bad person you know as she has been yeah then so that de-escalates the whole situation everyone mm. gets taken to hospital even alf has a bit of a moment in hospital but he seems to respond well in the end doesn't he and yeah. seems to recover well thank i didn't Lordy. did we know did we know what it was that they gave them? We still don't. I don't. I still don't understand what Alf had a reaction to because they did a blood test, didn't they, on Irene and everybody else? And they said, "Oh, it's already out of your system, so whatever it was is gone." But we don't know why Alf had a funny turn, do we? Or do we? Did I miss that? No. Did they not just say something about his underlying medical condition? I think they said it was like something because he was on medication for his mm. heart so something reacted with that but what was the something that reacted with his heart medication i don't think they've told us mm. have they mm. no i don't know they haven't actually to be fair i'm not that not that i think it's crucial to this um no i just love him so I, I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed i need to i need to write it down in my medical chart for mr stewart got, so you. That got, I know. You. <laughs> got you it was probably just a fancy angina attack or something don't worry about <laughs> it i've got to keep an eye on him i've got to need all the stats <laughs> <laughs> I need to prepare myself for the inevitable. You know what I mean. So you're so yeah. you're lying. You've, you've just got a sweepstake going. 2023. <laughs> <laughs> no! I've got a fiver on it. No, it's too soon. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> he's made it. 35 years. He's out. Right. Oh God, no! <laughs> you let me cry. Um. <sighs> oh God. So we've got the, we've got some quite interesting scenes at the hospital because Heather arrives, doesn't she, in a, yeah. on a stretcher, and eventually. and Rue, <laughs> yeah, and Rue reacts like, "What have you done with Marilyn? Where is she?" And I'm thinking, too little, too late, Dal. You oh, know, I'm, I'm so like, cross with Rue. I'm I'm still really angry from before Christmas. It's been it's been teetering away underneath, like boiling away under, underneath, and it's come out vividly this week. <laughs> how how so angry I am! I am seething. I'm Honestly, seeing, there was one episode I can't remember which one where the um, Alf's in the hospital bed and he's just recovering. You know, he's back, he's back, he's back to normal, but he's you know he's recovering. Yeah. And Mar- Marilyn pops in to say hello, and they're all talking. And Ruth, Ruth says something to her like, "Oh, I'm your best friend, or you're my best friend, or something." I was like, "Some best friend you are, Ruth." <laughs> yeah. I, I think I shouted that. that. <laughs> yeah, I think I shouted the same thing. <laughs> it's like, I know you, I know, I know you inside out, you're my best friend. And I was like, really? Well, a couple of weeks ago, you thought she was the tire slasher, review writer. Uh, what else did she think she'd done? You know, mm. s- stolen stuff out of the van, you know, all that mad woman off her meds. Yeah. So three weeks ago, you didn't know her inside out because you thought she was capable of all of that. Oh, I was, I was sorry. I got really cross. Really do you cross. know what? Do you know what the most annoying thing about this whole thing is going to be is that mm. Rue is going to get away with it because of the way Marilyn is and the type yes. of person that she is. Did you see that moment? She sort of she sort of had a had a bit of a clap back, but it was in like a really Marilyn way. Yeah. And it was when she sort of said, you know, we owe you an apology. You know, we were on, we're on your side. You know, we we should have been on you. Well, you were and you weren't. And yeah. that, that was sort of her sort of saying, well, you didn't no. believe me. Yeah. That was that was a Marilyn way of doing it. You know what I mean? I just think you, you need to actually put her in a place and say. But did you, you know, hear the apology that Rue gave her? Because mm. I was really listening for the I'm sorry from Rue because I needed to hear. I needed to hear it. Never mind Marilyn. Yeah. And she said, I'm sorry that you couldn't tell me about Heather. And I was like, no, 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 Rue. No, no, no. <laughs> Apologies don't start with I'm sorry that you. Apologies start with I'm sorry that I did something mm. to make you feel mm. whatever. She can't mm. even apologize. Oh, she's just the woman. The goal of the woman. I know. I know. <laughs> I, honestly, I feel I'm getting wound up now. <laughs> oh, I've, about... I've got hot cheeks talking about it because it's making me so angry. <laughs> me too. And and she's gonna get away with it. I know. She's going to get away with it, honestly. And you see the, the gorgeous scene, because obviously Leah was Marilyn's confidant for a while. Yes. So Leah, Leah was in, wasn't she, in on it? Yeah. And, and tried to tried to influence her. But, you know, I, th- I think Leah handled this really well for Leah. You know, I think we mentioned it last season on an episode, mm. how, how actually surprised, in a good way, pleasantly surprised we were with Leah yeah. and the way she's handled this, because it's not very Leah. No. <laughs> 
But um, Maz visits Leah at home, doesn't she? Mm. Um, and and Leah's just been so great. She's saying, look, this isn't on you. You know, yes. she's saying all the right things to her that she's been saying throughout. I just think, yes, Leah. Mm. Oh, my God, who is this new Leah? Can you stay? And um, and um, she's asking all the right questions, et cetera, et cetera. And, and Maz is all weird. And she's doing this sort of final goodbye spiel, isn't she? Yeah. Um, yeah. And she's and, missed and out, just, hasn't she? Yeah. She doesn't, she doesn't right see that it. it's a bye because she's going, oh, stay for lunch, stay for lunch. And then she's like, no, I, I have to go, Rue. Like, I have to go. Like, not as in I have to go home, but I have to leave is what she's trying to tell him, isn't she? But she doesn't pick yeah. up on it. Yeah. Um, and it's really sad that Marilyn feels like that. Um, mm. yeah. and, and she's like, she's left this gorgeous letter for, for, for Rue and Mr. Shoe. And, um, yeah, I was I was a bit like, oh no. And if if you look back at Marilyn's history though, this is what mm. she does. This is what yes. she does. She runs, yeah. She she does she, she takes for the road, doesn't she? Yeah. Um and that's how she copes. And I think there's been conversations later in the week amongst Irene and John about uh, and cash really about mm. sort of where she is. They're really worried for her. You know, we wanna we wanna go and see her and cash agrees, doesn't need to you know, yeah. look her up unofficially after <laughs> John <laughs> gives him a right going. Oh, oh dear. Um, and he, he, he actually found her. Yeah. She's, she's fine, um, just wants to be on her own. But um, <clears throat> Mr. Stewart, John and Irene, they're not they're not having it, are they? And I think, did, did, did in tonight's five stamp, did, did Alf say something like, why doesn't he bend the rules for once? You know, <laughs> like... Yeah. Um, yeah. we've had enough coppers just in the bay over the years that bend the give rules. Give us the address. You know I, mean? I know. Yeah. Pretty, pretty much all of them have eventually turned a bit, bit, yeah. <laughs> a bit dodgy. Or started that way. Yeah, yeah. Or started that way. Yeah. And yeah, I thought, he just I'll... wants to know where she is, doesn't she? Give us the address. No, I can't. You know, GDPR yeah. or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and even if even if even if Alf just drives up there on his own, doesn't yeah. have to tell Ivy, doesn't have to tell, doesn't have to take the cavalry, does he? Do you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> Alf will sit her down, and he'll and he'll just, you know, I think he'll get her through. And I and I hope wherever she is, I don't think she's far, is she? No, she um, can't be. I, hope she, she's does she, I don't think she drives, does she? I've never seen Marilyn drive. So wherever she's gone, I think she's gone on the train or the bus or something. She's probably at Yabby mm. Creek, shopping, yeah. shopping, yeah. buying a meditation bowl. Well, the Yabby Creek have everything. They've even got an India radio station. So. They do. <laughs> <laughs> we, should visit. Uh, we should visit one day. <laughs> They've got everything. They've got everything. Why have we wasted our time in Tormelinos? Honestly. I know. The wine <laughs> bar, the radio station, the meditation bowl shop. What else could you need? <laughs> <laughs> So hopefully, hopefully, you know, at some point, someone goes and talks some sense into Marilyn because she'll be getting in her head, won't she? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but what, what, what a way to return to home and away, oh, really. Brilliant. What a way. What yeah. a way. Um, and, and we've we've just been talking about um, <laughs> Yabby Creek's radio station. So the reason <laughs> is L- Lyric are sort of doing their thing still, aren't they? Yeah. Um, this week and they filmed that music music video so they've got a new single they filmed a music video at the lights house what did you make of this uh, i was kind of terrified of mini i'll be honest <laughs> the director the director <laughs> what's wrong with youtube cheer up look at the camera have you ever lip synced before well it doesn't look like you have oh she was making me a bit scared <laughs> did you actually check your tv i checked my tv me <laughs> did you it's like this mouth's not doing what the sound is doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, it was, it was funny. I, I did enjoy this, actually, because it was... I know you're not mad keen on the band, are you? I'm not mad keen on no. the music, I'll be honest. I'm not loving the song. Sorry, Kirby and Theo, not loving it. It's a bit too cheesy for me. Um, but I, I did quite enjoy this, because I thought it was an interesting... Something different. We haven't seen this before, have we, on Home and Away? So... It was quite yeah. nice to see. And I loved all the shots of like the the views from the lighthouse and all the beach and the sea and the sun, all the stuff that we get really jealous about and we like yeah. to see on Home and Away. So that was really a really nice excuse to show off the landscape, wasn't it, really? Yeah, that is the, it, it looked good. It did it look did. good. 
It did. Um, it just doesn't interest me. Do it's, you know what I found? It was a little bit cheesy. I was a bit yeah. like, oh, I don't yeah. know. But and for me, I don't mind the characters being members of a band. I just don't yeah. want the band stuff. Um, I can't relate I don't want to it, it every week. I didn't mind this because it was new. Like we have, this is a storyline that we haven't had before. You know, it's not the mm. whole. You know, we get births, deaths, marriages. You know, all of that is half of the course in a soap. A band mm. and a music video. I don't think I've ever seen that anywhere. I can't no. think of another example where we've had that. So I'm liking the novelty of it. I'm just finding it a little bit cheesy. Is that yeah. fair to say? Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes, yeah, you, you're sort of looking through your fingers at you're like, Ooh. <laughs> um, I think if they were rockier, like I need them to be rock. You know, like Eden and Remy, they look like they should be in a more rocky band. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but, but you know, this is for the masses, isn't it? You know, I know. I just, just I like the rock. <laughs> yeah. Well, you like what you like, don't you? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but like. Uh, the the most interesting thing about the episode for me was the read the the Remy and Eden sort of feud that was spilling yes. over that I'd actually forgotten about you know over the <laughs> over the winter break yeah um and it was thought of the going off at the side it was a sort of looks and the miserableness and it was like you put your face straight on you put your face straight that to me was yeah. the most interesting I find everything around the outside of the band stuff really good yes. I just don't find the band stuff interesting I'd, I don't mind if you sort of say you're going to go off and film a music video and come back next episode yeah do that and then we, and then we see it yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 um and um you know I, I, there was a lovely scene they would be taking a break from filming the music video and Eden and Remy had a bit of a talk looking out yonder over the sea always makes a character think I know always puts things into perspective doesn't it, it does. and Remy confides in her about what he knows about Jacob yeah you know. because they're having that spat aren't they and she thinks it's about them and she thinks it's about what he said about you know to cash about mm. her, her catching feels and she's in the mood with him for that and she thinks that's why they're having friction she's like Ugh. and he goes it's not always about you and she's like oh there's something else afoot Something's here going on. something yeah. else um and then he, he he does say to her doesn't he like keep this to yourself or keep this this is a secret you know you can't tell anybody but Bree's husband is hitting her but she doesn't really take that that bit of information in, does she? The, the secret bit. <laughs> no, no, because it doesn't take long. I mean, it, at least they reconcile over this, yeah. you know, yeah. and sort of bygones be bygones. And then later that day, they they bump into Jacob, don't they? Mm. Um, and Eden, so, you know, and he's he's giving him lip, isn't he, Jacob to Remy? Um, yes, because he was busking, you... wasn't he? He was busking earlier in the day, and Jacob was watching him, wasn't he? He was a bit creepy. Like... Mm smirking at him and like because Remy was busking and he'd got like a few quid in well dollars I guess <laughs> quid a few <laughs> dollars in his guitar case and he was loving that wasn't he like that he wasn't making much money and he looked like a sort of don't give up the day job oh it is your day job ha 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 and I was like ugh you're just horrible you don't, you don't if you have nothing nice to say just shut your mouth you know what I mean yeah <laughs> just go away for me it was when he said obviously it made Eden react yeah it was when he said you need to control this one oh and I thought the well, we've got yeah, well. yeah, yeah. We've got your number, Matt, Sonny. Yeah, um, and like then he, yeah, and Eden snaps, doesn't she? Like, oh, why are you going to hit me? Yeah, you know, because he knows, you know. <laughs> yeah, and then his face <laughs> dropped, didn't it? His face was like, uh, and I thought, oh yeah. my god, Bree's going to get it. Like that's, you know, he does. He's not going to take it out on Remy. He's not going to take it out on Eden. He's going to go home and hit Bree for that. Mm. Mm-hmm. Tough. This is the, this is going to be a tough storyline, but I think it's a really good, important one, and I think I'm going absolutely, to, yeah. Um, use the word enjoy doesn't really no. fit, but but like this is something that we can get our teeth into, and um, I, I think he, the actor who's playing Jacob's doing a stellar job. I mean, he looks like he's about to kill anyone, <laughs> anyone who. Really, genuinely quite scary. I haven't seen him yeah. anything else before, so I don't know whether he's famous in Australia. He's been in other things there, but to me, he looks like a you know a proper baddie, doesn't he? There's something about him that he can portray the demeanour of like yeah. psych- psychopath he's, or he's really good at or, it. Yeah. yeah, and and then Bree's doing this sort of um, you know scared, fragile. Mm. Um, 
role really well as well and I think yeah. that the two the two are really perfectly matched in that in that way there's that yeah. scene isn't there where that he's waiting for her to go for dinner <gasps> yeah and obviously he's fresh off this running and he's mm. absolutely fuming about it isn't he he's on yeah. fire inside and he's sitting there spitting fire isn't he and she yeah. comes in all dolled up you know oh, you know I'm not late am I and she knows right away from the look on his face it's just a look she yeah. knows she's in for it that night yeah. Um, she doesn't and, want to go home, it, does she? No. We learn a bit more now about why he's got such a hold on her mm. through a conversation between. I mean, Remy must have had a, a conversation. I don't think we saw it. What Remy says to explaining to Eden says, you know, Jacob paid for her medical school. She's been with him a long time. She feels like she owes him. She's yeah. stuck there, really, isn't she? And yeah. I don't think we saw. We we didn't hear Bree say that herself, did we? I think we did. I think um, before oh, right. early. I think was it the first episode back, or well, maybe the oh, second right. one? Maybe it was Monday night. I can't remember. They did have a quick conversation about why are you still with him because she went round to see him when Remy you know she's been around twice to see Remy this week so she went around on her own and then the second time she went to speak to Remy and Eden at the yeah, same to, time yeah to like warn them off basically yeah, and yeah I think it was the first conversation where he was like and she said well you know I love him and you know I owe him and, all, and I think it was that conversation right got you okay yeah. uh, I'm, I must have blinked on that one then but but yeah. so so we're learning more, though, aren't we, about sort mm. of, OK, this is why he's got this hold on her. She feels like she owes him something. Yeah. Um, and a partnership shouldn't be that sort of dynamic, doesn't it? And that sort of yeah. shows you about the coercion and all yeah. that other stuff that goes on behind yeah. closed doors that you don't see physical yeah. evidence of. Um, yeah. And obviously they're, they're way down the path at this point as in their relationship. Things are physical. You know, she's yeah. in she's in audible pain, isn't she, when she's doing this warning and Remy's worried sick, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Eden has this really, you know, good chat to him and says, look, what is, he, he feels helpless. And Eden says, look, all you need to do is sort of just let her know yeah. that you're there day and night, you know. Yeah. Uh, what else can you do if she's not willing to... And he does, yeah. doesn't he? Um, yeah. And I must say, Eden's coming off really well here. Yeah, um, yeah. Definitely. A far cry from the tool <laughs> that we were caught, well, I was calling him um, <laughs> a few months back. Are you, are you warming up to Remy now? Th- this has really softened him for me. Oh. Um, because th- th- for me, this has shown him in yeah. a, a whole new light. Um, yeah. And it's shown that it's shown that compassion in mm. his character and out of all the band now actually I think he's the one with the most compassion yes. and and yeah. I, I'm now thinking looking ahead I'm thinking he's the one we're probably going to get more from yeah. because he's got that kind of character Eden mm. Eden is um a little bit more comedic and a little bit more surface level she's she's still got depth yeah but she's yeah but she's not got but she's not we've not seen uh, Okay, she's doing a bit of like a love love story, isn't she? There's only so deep that goes. Yeah. But um, we've not seen this side where she's actually shown genuine care for somebody else, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, other than some, you know, cash. Um, and Kirby, we don't, don't really know much about, to be no, honest. No, Kirby's yeah, still not really had a storyline of her own. She's still just Theo's girlfriend to me. But... Yeah, she. Yeah, that's well. Let's talk about Kirby because, like. Even, yeah, she's she's all we see her doing really is rehearsing with Theo. They're, they're completely yeah. separated. running off to the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, separated from the rest of it. And then this week, they've done obviously done this music video, and then it's all mm. gone live. And then Bob's texted her. <gasps> like, the nerve of that guy! Yeah. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> he's, he's obviously seen the video, hasn't he? And he's he's put two and two together. Oh, you're with him now. You look cozy. Hmm. Is it about her, her or is it about, because obviously when Bob left, he wasn't in it very long. Was it two episodes or three episodes? It wasn't very long, was it? And he basically he wasn't had, long, yeah. He had like this big tantrum, didn't he? Where he was like, I'm taking this band really seriously. You guys aren't. I want to be the big, you know, the next big thing. I can do it without you. You, you sort of, you're dragging me down and I'm never going to get there with you guys. So he had this big like tantrum and he was like, I'm leaving. Tried to get her to leave with him, didn't he? Because he's like, look, you write the songs. I play the songs. We are the band. We don't need the other two. Let's go and be like rock stars or whatever together. And she was like, no, like, I'm not coming with you. And that really got his back up, didn't it, as well? 
So then he's mm-hmm. left and he's like thinking, I'm going to make it. I'm the, I'm going to be the one that makes it, you know, as a solo artist or whatever. Or maybe, maybe he's going to join another band, start another band somewhere else. But I don't think he has. I don't think he has made it. And now Lyric 2.0, as they're calling themselves, you know, they're actually going places. They've got this this Tully guy that's interested, this journal, music journalist that's interested. They've got this music video now. They're getting big on the socials. They're getting out there. You know, the name's getting out there. They've got a manager. Mm-hmm. He, doesn't, he doesn't know it's Justin, the rubbish manager, but they've got a manager. <laughs> yeah. So they're actually doing really well without him. And I think it's probably sort of annoyed him, do you think? I don't know. Yeah, I'm... 100%. And it is, we, were, we were talking to each other, weren't we, Joe, when yeah. all this was unfolding. And we were saying, yeah, yeah he's, he's got one eye on the band. He's, re- you know, yes. he's, he's probably feeling a bit like kicking himself. Yes. You know. He's he's um, fame hungry, isn't he? So now they're all like getting all this attention. He's probably thinking, oh, if I got back in there, that attention would be back on me. Let's just kick Theo out of the of the picture. I'll get back with with Kirby. I'll get back in the band. And then that's what I'm thinking. I don't think he's interested in Kirby at all. I think he's a fame hungry, you know. W. So why do you think he's in touch with Kirby then? Do you think it's because he wants back in the band? That's what I'm thinking, wouldn't you? I don't know. I think he's he's just one of them that's just it, it, when he thought they were losers and they weren't going anywhere, he's like, oh, I'm better than you, and I'm going to go and make it on my own. And now they're actually doing it. He's like, I think he's a bit sore. Do you see? I was reading it. I was thinking it's a bit more about Kirby and their relationship because he le- well, he leads in with the picture of her and Kirby or the screenshot of her and Kirby, and they're in a music video. So how mm. would you even put two and two together? Like they're in the band performing at that moment. Yeah. Um, and it's like, oh, you yeah, think that counts, eh? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I just. I've got this feeling because why has he turned up now? Why didn't he turn up a month ago or two months ago or however long it's been that he's been disappeared? Why? Why all of a sudden is he now? Well, interested? this is true. Yeah, why is a very interesting question because there was the article from the magazine that went out, yeah, which did actually talk about their relationship, didn't it? So that probably yeah. how he yeah. would know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So why did he not get in touch after that? That's true. I um, think it's, it started to get some traction and he's like, hmm, I made a mistake here by leaving that band because now they, they've done all this hard work and I just want to come in at the end and be famous. I don't know. Mm, mm, yeah, you might be right, you know. Um, I, I just suppose don't like we'll him. No. <laughs> I just don't like him. Do you think we're going to see him again in the Bay? I don't know. I mean, it looks like they're going to meet up, doesn't it? So this texting that's been going on, he said, yeah, oh. what is that all about? I don't, I don't know why she replied. I would have blocked him immediately I wouldn't even I'd have been like yeah I've moved on block (laughs) sorry I'm a bit harsh I'm not really into the old keep the door open for the next thing I'm more like yeah see you later mate so (laughs) 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 I don't know I don't think I would have texted him back and because she just put none of your business which I think I think that's what the response he would have wanted isn't it like he's he's texted her to get a backup and he's achieved it yeah, well, the thing about this is now her response or her reaction to that text isn't just mm. like you've said, oh, block, fuck off, idiot. Yeah. You know, it's, um, <laughs> oh, God, explicit, rhyming. Um, <laughs> F word, F bomb. Oh, dear. Sorry, kids. Um, <laughs> and just tell your mum, you, you learned it on Nickelodeon. Um, <laughs> the, you know, it wasn't that reaction that she did. It was, mm. oh, head in the hands oh you know yeah. I, I was watching this thinking it's almost like he's her Mr Big as we <gasps> say you know oh. like you know there's always that one oh if he's they, so if not they Mr ever... Big he's no, so but... not Mr Big <laughs> <laughs> no no but you know like there's always I know. one there's always you know. one that got away that you think yeah that could have that could have been just that could have been the one that could have been the thing Aiden was the one that got away, not Mr. Big. But maybe that's true. But yeah, he, yeah, yeah. But he, even Mr. Big, he's not Mr. Big, is he? <laughs> Come on, he's just some scrote that wants to be famous. <laughs> but why is she responding like that then? If she doesn't know. still have a flame for him? Because well, I'm thinking yeah. Mm, yeah. she's lying, she's covering it up. I mean, even Theo, I mean, Theo's read the message and like, yeah. I, I, th- I feel like he sat on that a bit too long because he worked, it, it was like a pressure cooker and it came oh. out the wrong way. I know, but that was um, good drama though, wasn't it? If he'd said it straight yeah. away, it wouldn't have been as exciting. Like, what's this message from Bob? Oh, yeah. No, I think he should have, the phone ding, he should have picked it up and the frisbee it at her. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm talking about domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, like. I'd have broken that iPhone 4 <laughs> um, yeah, yeah I'd, I just think she's she's gone right to cover mode covering it up yeah. um, Eden even when she confides in Eden even he, Eden even said give me your phone I'll sort it you know like a good friend would yeah. um, and she's like oh no I wanna, what's wrong with meeting him oh, I she's might get closure no exactly what does that mm-hmm. say about her and Theo what does that say yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Mm-mm. I'm saying you're right. You're saying I'm right. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> oh, change my mind now. Yeah. Because when you think about well, the, the breakup, and I'm saying breakup in air quotes, it was just him storming off, wasn't it? And she didn't know whether he'd ever come back. It it was like a tantrum type. It wasn't like I don't love you and I don't want to be with you anymore. It was I want to be famous. I'm going off to do it. So it wasn't like yeah. a it wasn't like a normal breakup was it obviously they they were very dysfunctional but I don't I don't think they broke up because they didn't you know love each other anymore or it was about the band wasn't it really yeah it was mainly about the and and the direction of the band wasn't it and yeah they wanted to play salt and he didn't want to do it and yeah he, he thought it was going to be bigger as you say he wanted mm. the bigger fame yeah. um delusions of grandeur it was. oh Bob. But mm. it wasn't. I don't like you anymore, and I, you know, I don't fancy you, or I don't love you. It wasn't any of that, was it? It wasn't like the normal relationship ending stuff. So no. maybe, maybe she isn't over him. And I'm taking the van. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, um, elsewhere, um, you know, we've got we've got these this drinks happening with a sort of middle <laughs> cast. Um, you dare call them oldies? No, I don't. Don't, don't you dare! <laughs> I'll come round your house. <laughs> They're younger than me, um, and then um, they, they. I can't work out whether they were celebrating Tane and Flick or whether they were celebrating Dean and Ziggy. To be honest, I, but I think Flick wanted to celebrate Dean and Ziggy because Flick didn't want the attention on herself at all, did she? She kept yeah. saying, "No, no, it's mm-hmm. about you and the baby." Ugh. And they were like, no, it's about you and the wedding. When's the date? And she was like, I'm just going to the bar. Well, I'll be back in a minute. I'm a yeah. mental breakdown for five seconds. Well, they were knocking them back, weren't they? They were. Blimey. God, Tane. Oh. I did have to laugh, though, because, you know, when she went to the bar to have a little bit of a moment where she was freaking out and Mac mm. was there and then we're having a bit of a heart to heart. And then Tane came over, didn't he? He was like, I'm all beers for me and Dean. And uh, Flick was like, no, we're going home. Like, you've had enough. You can't keep up with Dean. Dean can drink mm. under, the ta- under the table. So she was about to take him out and like, like, and then he, she said something like, oh, we'll go home and celebrate. And he was like, oh, yeah, good idea. <laughs> yeah. And did yeah. You, the next line was Max saying, do you need a hand? And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I can't, this is too funny. <laughs> and Flick was like, no, I've got him. I was like, I bet you have. Like, oh my God. I'm oh, sorry. Especially sorry, listeners. Mm. I know. Mm. <laughs> my brain went somewhere else but there we go i quite liked mac there where you mm. know when 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 flick sort of took herself off because mac knows doesn't she they had the um stock yeah. room chat yes um, in the had a couple haven't they yeah <laughs> yeah side chats <laughs> um and she, you know too much wedding talk because flick knows she's absolutely freaking under the surface about yeah. the whole thing yeah um and um the next day everyone's hung over um yeah. And Tane's wanting to talk about the wedding and he wants to talk <laughs> plans, talk dates and venues. And mm. she's brushing him off all the time, isn't she? And he smells yeah. a rat. I mean, it was obvious. You could smell it from a mile so off. obvious. And it, she's even mm. got Mac involved, hasn't she? Like, Mac, the supplier's messed up, hasn't he, Mac? Hasn't he? Like, I've got to stay here with you, haven't I, Mac? And she's like, uh, I guess. Yeah, I need you. Yeah, OK. She doesn't yeah. want to be dragged into the middle of it, but she's there, isn't yeah. she? Subtle as a sledgehammer, <laughs> as always. Mm. And Tony's oh, like were... raised eyebrow. Mm, something happening here. Yeah, yeah. And he and uh, to be fair, I like the way you dealt with it. I love that scene though between Tony and Ziggy. Did you, you yes. know? Did you see it at the beach yes. the next morning? Oh. Because you know me. You know me. Know my thoughts on this. I think they were a massive missed opportunity. Mm. Okay. Um, and I was really gutted that that didn't go somewhere because. Mainly because I, I I didn't think Diggy 2.0 was working right, you know, no, for me. No. And um, second time round, and um, 
you know, and she said to him, you know, I'm really happy for you. And he said the same, yeah. which I thought was really good because that, that showed that he'd matured and moved on from, you know, he'd, he'd moved yeah. on, you know. Yeah. And um, she said, it's just what you always wanted, wife and kids. And he just gushed, didn't he? You know? know, and I just thought, Oh, it's so my nice. Heart break for him though, because I was like, he's not on the same page as Flick though. He does want all that. Ziggy's right, and Ziggy's assuming he's got it now, but I don't think he mm. has. No, no, but I, 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 you know, when he gushed in that moment, I just thought, oh, you know, no. yeah, that was lovely. Just please, just go right, you know. Um, <laughs> it's a obviously, soap. I know, it's not gonna go know. right. I know, but you know he's, he's put two and two together. He's trying to speak to Mac, and mm. Mac's like, "I think you need to speak to your fiance." Um, yeah. And then um, you know, he, he, when she eventually comes home, mm. you know, he, he sort of, and I think he did it right. I think you know, he, he did it, and then he, did, he didn't flip, did he? he? Just sort of said, you know, you yeah. don't think I've noticed, you know? Yeah. You know, whenever I bring up the wedding, you run away. Um, mm. You know, do, do you even want to get married? And of course, she doesn't answer, but he only gives her like yeah. a second <laughs> and storms out. Yeah. Um, and then Kathy she is, Yeah, she is, she's flipping out and I think she just needs calming down. Yeah. Um, And of course, that's what she needed because when they actually spoke properly about it, mm. you know, he realised that she's just freaking because she's, it's the biggest thing she's ever committed to in her life. Yeah. Um. And I don't you think know. it's ever crossed her mind, has it? Like she said, I don't think she's ever had a serious relationship before, before Tane. And I think she's one of these girls, and I'm the same as her. I didn't grow up thinking about weddings and planning. But, you know, some some girls do. They think about weddings, mm-hmm. and they think, think about the dress, and they think about, you know, what will happen and all that. And they, they sort of have an idea of what they want from a very young age. And other girls don't, and they don't even contemplate it and I think when you're then faced with it and you're like oh my god I don't even know where to start with this I've never even thought about getting married it's yeah. not been on my because for some people it's just not something that they think about and I think that's her she's never done you know when she was a kid she probably never did the pillowcase on the back of her head pretending she was a bride you know like some girls do <laughs> I didn't either but I know I had friends at school that would be like they try to dress up like a bride you know like they put like toilet roll around themselves to make themselves look like they were wearing a wedding dress and all that sort of stuff that's not what everybody grows up dreaming about and I think she is one of these people that's just it's never crossed her mind yeah yeah to get married yeah, so, and if she's gonna if she's gonna get her mind across it and get over yeah. that line she's gonna need time isn't she yeah um and she does and that's what she asks him for yeah um, and he agrees to it but then immediately she then proposes back to him I was a bit like, what is happening here? This this broke my brain because I was like, one minute, I was like, finally, they're talking. So they're finally, you know, she said to him the words, this is going too fast for me. I want you to go at my pace. And he and he's gone. He was really nice about it. He was like, right, I can see you're freaking out. You're more important to me than the wedding. So I want to do what's best for you, which I thought was really good. So then I started to go, Okay, this is this is fine. And then she's turned it around immediately and said, "Will you marry me in eight weeks?" And I was like, "Wait a minute! Like we've just said that we're we're going too fast. Why have we?" I hope she's not playing with him. No, but do you think though? Because that was right after he said, "You don't want to get married. The wedding's off." Yeah. And he tries to walk out with salt. Do you think it took her to realise what she's giving up and what she's about to lose? To, for her to come round to it, it seemed a bit, it seemed a bit quick, didn't it? But I thought it was way too fast. I don't yeah. know. I think it was yeah. another knee jerk reaction, and I think because uh, later on, I think it was tonight's episode, Friday. Um, they're talking about what they want, aren't they? And she's going, "Oh, we can have a beach party. We can have the booze over there. We have the band over there." And he's going, "No, it's about the sea." And like for me, it's really important to be in a special spiritual place. You know, he wants this really meaningful day that's mm. that's really tied to the sea and to all the things that his heritage and everything else and she just wants to get boozed up with her mates like they don't yeah. even want the same wedding and I think that's when her face dropped again when she realized you know are we compatible do we want the same things we haven't ever talked about this this is freaking me out again so I think after tonight's episode I think she's spiraling again <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm on the fence with what what what's going on, where we're up to at the minute. I think I'm yeah. on the fence. I can't work out whether she's she's trying to please him. Yeah. Um, and or or whether she's genuinely just realised what she's giving up. There mm-hmm. was that moment because Cash does say to her, "You don't realise how lucky you are 
Yeah. You know, I would give anything for that. And it's sort of interpreted as, you know, him and Eden by by um I know Christy, yeah. isn't it? It's, everyone's forgotten about Jasmine. He literally Jasmine, was, yeah. I'm he was so happy you said that. About to propose to someone that he wanted to spend the rest of his life with. He's still in love yes. with Jasmine. Like he's not over that. That's why the whole Eden thing's not working yet, because he's She's gone faster than him. He's still in love with Jasmine. He's still ready to marry her, isn't he, in, in his brain? Yes, 100. I'm so <laughs> happy you said that. I was about, like, I was going to bring it up, like, what? It, hello, <laughs> he was about to propose. I'm so happy because I'm thinking, am we I miss, is, is it just, yes, absolutely. Can't, we, we don't forget. The script writers seem to Because I'm like, or oh, Felicity, definitely, because she's all like, oh, you need, maybe Eden can be it. And I'm like, no, Jasmine was it. Jasmine you know, was, and it was only yeah. a, a weeks ago, you know? Mm, yeah. That's why he's in this funk, man. Yes, it's so obvious to us. It's like, he was he was ready for this. He was paused and ready to get married. He was thinking about the future. He was thinking about planning a wedding. He was thinking about having a marriage and a wife. And it's all gone. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, nobody seems to have realised that he's in that t turmoil still. This is not about him getting shot right now. This is about him, all the other crap that's happened to that poor guy. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Absolutely. I'm so happy you thought the same because <laughs> I was sitting there thinking, is it me? No, no. <laughs> like, am, I, am I still hung up on Jasmine? I think we, maybe um, we are. Maybe we did like Jasmine. But <laughs> not as much as Cash did. We weren't going to marry her. So No, true. Um, and and I, I I thought later, like tonight's episode, she sort of saw signs of coming mm. around to it. Now, and it's a bit like when you start planning something, you sort of get in the mood for it, don't you? Um, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I feel like this signs in there that she she's okay with it. And and as someone myself who has had a beach wedding, yeah. And how um how cash that can be, yeah. and they can make it what they want right yeah. and he says that to her and her, her face lights up because she's a bit sort of she gets a bit sort of anxious about the stuffiness oh who's going to walk you down the aisle oh you know the traditions it's like you say she's yeah. she's a bit she's a bit sort of anxious about all that stuffy tradition yeah um so I think a beach wedding is perfect for them because that means that they can make it they can do what they want you know yeah. they can my wedding was all hippie beachy hippie vibe um ah. and there was no no conforming of, of any kind so they, yeah. they literally could do what they want um so i'm all down for it i am a massive advocate of a beach ceremony <laughs> you're there you've got your hat already yeah. haven't you i can tell yeah. you, you've been out and yeah your hat. <laughs> yeah uh, this is one i mean uh, and considering i've just had a whole winter of watching weddings back to back <laughs> um they can't be fed up do you know oh, well, I love we as know well. this one's gonna be full of drama. We know this is gonna yeah, be of course this isn't what gonna be see? plain sailing. <laughs> did you see? Typical this just sums Felicity's attitude to the wedding up and they're making that list in salt and um yeah. I think <laughs> yeah. Kate, so the one with, <laughs> Kate, Kate, the one with the really good eyes in uh, what about a celebrant? Ah uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> They were like, right, so what's on the list? We've got alcohol. We've got something to put alcohol in. Thanks, Tani. <laughs> Tani. <laughs> so Flick's suggestion was obviously alcohol and his suggestion was something to put it in. <laughs> and then Cash is like, how about someone to actually do the ceremony? You know, that was so funny. Love I do. Funny. I kind of want an invite to this wedding, though. Like beach wedding with loads of booze. I'm there. I, I want to see this. You and John? <laughs> John wants to walk her down the aisle. <laughs> Just to get so presumptuous. <laughs> John loves a free feed. The cheek you know. of the man. Honestly, to think he was going to get to be <laughs> part of the wedding party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that made me laugh. You know, he is a neighbour, I suppose. <laughs> he he lives opposite. That's enough. That's basically family, right? <laughs> Just oh, make dear. her think, though, and only she goes and asks her brother to walk her down the aisle. It's this, this did actually get me a little bit. Uh -huh. I was a bit emotional when Cash's reaction was just like, oh, yes. I was, uh, that did get me a little bit, I'll be honest. Yeah. I think I think if you're, you know, you put yourself in their shoes, you know. Yeah. You know, parents and things, I think those moments, you can yeah. really sort of touch your, can't they? So 
Especially because oh. last last year there was so much fighting between the pair of them, and you know they weren't getting on yeah. so so much of it, and it was it was kind of heart wrenching to see that because they had been each other's rock for years and years and years, and yeah. now it's back full circle again. You know, you can you be my dad for the day? Essentially, is what she's saying to him, and I was like, oh, I was getting a bit choked up. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was. Yeah. It was dead cute, and it was like, right, stop hugging me, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> like, she? Yeah. <laughs> I know, love that. Oh, I, I do hope it works out for them in the end, but I think we're going to see some drama. Right, sorry. So for season three, we're having a new segment, aren't we? Which is going to be <gasps> us, us talking. Ooh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> talking about things that either a, a fan or a listener of of the podcast has tweeted us or emailed to us so we're gonna hopefully you guys are going to get involved and you're going to um tweet us on the hashtag home and, home and away at coastal news pod is our twitter account or you can send us an email i've forgotten the email address coastal news pod at gmail.com that's the one i can't remember which at it was at gmail.com <laughs> So you can send if you're not on Twitter, if you're not on Instagram, because we've we've got a Twitter page and we have got an Instagram account as well. So you can follow us on there and you can you can message us about anything to do with home and away. But if you're not on social media, you can always email us as well. Um, and we just want to hear your views on on what's happening on the soap at the moment, what you think about it, good, bad. Or if there's anything you want us to discuss on the podcast as well, any suggestions or anything that you want us to voice an opinion on um then get in contact and let us know because we're more than happy to uh oblige aren't we yeah an opinion we can oblige we yes. can <laughs> <laughs> definitely um so the the podcast that we did before the, the last one we did in, in 2022 before christmas we were actually talking about one of the scenes with between brie and her husband jacob weren't we and it was yeah. that first scene that we saw where things got very violent and physical between the pair of them we knew there was something bubbling on under the surface and then there was that scene where they're back at the the dodgy motel and he's confronting her <laughs> and um it he's obviously hit her but we didn't actually see the, mm. the, the 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 impact of that did we we didn't see her being hit by him we it was just assumed that it was and we had a conversation about how that was shot didn't we so what happened was we saw him sort of raise his hand up and then it cut out from that scene. It went to a, a clip of the sea and the waves looking quite angry and choppy and that kind of thing. And I remember having a conversation with you at the time and you said, I didn't know if that was on purpose or whether it got censored. So whether. Yeah, yeah, because it was sort of it was sort of cut, wasn't it? And I was, was a bit like, yeah, have we been protected from something there? You know, yeah, because um, we have in the past, because I know you've you've given a few examples on the pod before of things where they might have played out differently on the Australian version to what we've got. And we, or even in the UK, I think we've had different different TV network areas have shown different things like them in your area. They might have cut something out that actually was broadcast in my area. Yeah, back in the ITV days, oh my yeah. gosh, they used to they used to chop it to pieces. Yeah. Um, I don't. I think it's um, it might be a little less common now because Channel Five goes the same everywhere, doesn't it? But yeah, yeah, yeah. back in the ITV days when we were all regional, I don't. Even, I think some regions even had a different episode, didn't they? I think, I think we did. It, yeah. All over. There was stuff that was was missed out, and I can't, I think there mm. might have been one of the early rapes. I think that was in. Home and Away wasn't as explicit in some areas as it was in others. I think some areas didn't even know it happened. Another area, yeah. Did. The one I remember was Chloe's. Do you remember mm. Chloe's? Um, yeah. Attack. That yes. that I've seen stuff on YouTube that didn't happen on TV. Really? Because oh, the YouTube gosh. is like the Oz version. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Un uncensored. I mean, we're going back a bit there though. Yeah. So it, it probably happens less, but we were wondering whether we'd got a, a censored version in the UK, yeah. weren't we, as opposed to what went out in Australia. And a few days after we recorded that podcast, I actually looked at the Australian version because they upload them to YouTube. So you can actually watch the, the old episodes on YouTube. And I went and watched it and it is the Australian uh, content. And it's, it was identical to ours. So I was like, OK, it was a editing choice to not show us him hitting her and it showed us this clip of the, the sea instead but actually friend of the show marty 
a friend of the podcast. He also works on Home and Away, doesn't he? He's an assistant editor. So hi, hi Marty, hi crew. If you're all listening, hello. Hello. Thank oh my you so God. much. We love the fact that you listen. It's terrifying, but we we love it. And thank you for getting in touch with us, Marty, because this was actually really interesting. Because he obviously, bless him, listened to the the podcast where we talked about this and sent us a message and said it was done on purpose. It didn't. Nothing was cut out. It was actually meant to be be that way you know so we didn't actually see him hitting her so it, it was an editing choice so that that was good to get our our credit because we have a lot of questions normally don't we we'll be like well wonder why they did this or wonder what what happened there we've actually had an answer on this one so that's quite exciting quite it was that. really exciting <laughs> and that explanation actually because yeah. i went and watched the episode back after we had we received that explanation yeah and um i thought let's watch that scene again yeah because like i'm a super fan and i've got nothing else better to do in my life <laughs> uh, <laughs> weird, weirdo super fan um <laughs> and then, and then, so and i thought do you know what actually that did that choice makes that way more impactful and i yeah. don't think i'd i'd appreciated it at the time the first yeah. time around because actually just as you know, because because then, then you, as the viewer, you are left with questions about what yeah. did just happen. You know, well, it's pretty and... obvious from the next scene, isn't it? I think that's what I said to you when we talked about it. I was like, the way I sort of watched it was we saw him get angry, but we didn't see him boil over. Then we saw the sea, which was like metaphorically him boiling over, and then yeah. the after the aftermath we saw was was really obvious because it was Bree with a black eye and a cut lip. So I was like, well, there's no you know you can't read anything else into that we know what happened. but it's that enigma isn't it yeah. about how the only thing you see is yes. the product of yes. something like that so yeah the only thing visibly we can see is is breeze cuts and bruises yeah the rest is always behind closed doors locked mm. away yeah. you know and so actually it made sense yeah it is yeah and that's that's obviously what Remy would see as well. You know, he'd see her one day looking absolutely fine and the next day with a bruise and a cut lip and he'd have to piece it all together as well because mm. he literally, he literally mm. said that to him, didn't she? The next day in the hospital, he said, did your husband do that? You know, he came out and asked, you know, did your... And she was like, oh, no, I... What did she say she hit the kitchen cupboard with her face or something? Like, you know, like the usual, oh, no, it wasn't me. I just I fell down the stairs or whatever. And, uh. Yeah. You know, the, those excuses that, that people make when they're in that situation because they don't feel like they can explain it. And, you know, it, it does happen behind closed doors and you, you're probably worried about retaliation and it happening again if you tell someone else or it escalating and making it, you know, making it much, much worse. So, yeah, he, he's doing the same as we are. He's having to put the pieces together and go, OK, he did that. That's what that's what's happening in their relationship. It's abusive you know what do I do now now that I know it she might not admit it to me but I know it now yeah 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 I, I liked it It was clever and I like your analysis of the sea as well you like the sea looks angry the <laughs> sea, you know <laughs> we you know that stock like shot that. that's why I sat mm. up and I was like oh because when whenever we've shown clips of the sea because you know between scenes we always see like the beach the sea the boats the waves you know we we see all of that don't we but I've never seen the sea like that on home the way it's always been like you know pretty serene and calm and lovely like you want to dive in to blue water but this was like choppy waves mm. i think that's why i noticed it because it was out of contrast with what we normally see pathetic fallacy is it that they call it something like that yeah you get yeah. very very uh, literary on me and i'm not very <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's like you know when the bad you know when they, there's a storm and something bad's going to happen you know yes, yes. yeah, yeah mm. that's what it is it was like mm. metaphorical wasn't it i thought it was great i really enjoyed that yeah. not not her being hit but the way that they the way they portrayed it to us as yeah. the viewers i quite liked that as well i did a important storyline very yeah. important so it's a great at that right um yeah at, at telling a very important story um, yeah. that I think many watching will I, will will relate to and, and and if it helps one person identify yeah. that kind of behaviour in their life, it's yeah. done its job. Yeah. Um, and everyone should be proud who's involved in it. And I think the I think I think it goes to show you as well, even down to post production. 
you've got all this sort of you know writing you know the writing work that goes into the research and and then the actual performance but then the post-production even still at that point is helping tell us tell the story tell that narrative in a certain way you know yeah, yeah. um and sometimes these things are subliminal when you're watching a 20 minute 22 23 minute pro nightly soap you know yeah, and yeah. you're having your tea you know like yeah. these things yeah. can pass you by can't they yeah, and it's only when I mean we're because because we're in this position where we're on a podcast about it you know we're, we're, we're actually looking and we're, yes. we're yeah. analyzing it probably more than your average Joe would oh definitely so, I mean there's other soaps I watch and I watch them but I don't really watch them you know I'm, I'm on my phone mm. or I'm eating or I'm like looking out the window or playing with the dog you know I'm doing other things while they're on but home and away I'm sitting and I'm staring at it <laughs> for that whole 20 minutes and I'm trying to absorb it I've got the subtitles on so I don't miss anything you know? <laughs> I've got bloody nope I doubt me but we'll be podcast because by Friday I'll be like I'll forget that quote <laughs> but yeah I thought and um, you know I think that, uh, you know, Marty getting in touch and that highlighted, mm. um, you know, the work that has gone into something yeah. like that, the thought. Yeah. Um, for us, really, you know. Yeah, definitely. Thank you for listening. We will be back with more episode discussion from Summer Bay soon. Until then, join the discussion online at Coastal News Pod.